quiet after, right? Well, I've got a sad story about the Buick Halfmaster. She's sort of done for. We're going to see today if we can bring her back to life. She's seized up. I had to start it to move the, the car to cut the grass. So I cut the grass around my cars every couple weeks so that it doesn't get killed underneath. And I didn't realize or remember that last year a tuber came and bashed the hell out of it and put a hole in the oil pan. And over the winter all the oil leaked out. And so I was sitting there running it for a bit after I started it because rain got down those exhaust pipes and so it was misfiring. I was just drying out the rain and it seized up. So the crank bearings have melted and seized themselves with the crank. So what I did was triple overfilled it with oil and put a catch container underneath to catch the oil that would be running out the hole in the oil pan. So that's now bathing the crankshaft in oil because the oil pan is so full the oil's filling up into the block now. Well, we tried to crank her and she didn't crank. Give her another crank and see if she's unseized yet. Yeah. All right. Try it out. Try it out, but uh, I got my Chevy small block unseizing tool that I made it earlier in the year ready. So let's see what's going to happen if it doesn't unseize itself. Okay, keep going. Okay. Okay, she's stuck. Well, there's the tractor. Let's pick her up. That's the only way I can get access to the crankshaft to unseize it. Yep. Well, because we gotta see this. Well, did you ever see the video? No, I haven't watched the video, so this is gonna be. All right. Well, first we gotta move that pile of Texas crude. You look like Jed Clampett. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. That's good. Now, Can you see me with a with a squirrel rifle? Well, <laughs> we gotta get that thing fished around there. So, someone here, someone. We need more than one person. Someone hold this up for me. Fish this. There we go. The handy dandy tool. Oh, oh, my belt up a twist in this? Um, and then I think I put the belt on twisted. Yeah, I did. Yeah. The trick is to figure exactly where to do it on the timing belt. You ready? Oops, it's not far enough. Uh, try it here. Oh man, she ever seized. Oh. Oh. It's a belt ripper, that one. It's almost going to rip the belt. Maybe this thing's fucked. Here, Margaret. <laughs> well, I'll try it the other way. Oh, I am? Oh, I got the tool on backwards. Ha! <laughs> Look how much oil came out of the oil pail. Oh, it's a little. Oh, there's a hole in it someplace. Just a little one. <laughs> Just a little one. Yeah, right. Okay, take two. Holy Christ, you're twisting the whole motor. <clears throat> oh, 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 she you're moved. Too close, Graham, but she moved. <sighs> this is five feet of leverage, too. Yeah, for every foot, it's a hundred and something pounds, isn't it? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to save this motor. No. Let me try again. Some tight, eh? Well, it shows you how good an old Toyota timing belt is. Mm. Just need to get some WD-40 on there. Oh. <laughs> some KY to loosen her up. Thank her thin. Oh, she's coming now. 
Oh, that is so tight. No starter motor in the world. They'll be able to turn it. I'm probably spinning the bearings right now. Oops, wrong position. Oh, damn it. That's a good design, that tool, though, eh? That's pretty neat. It only took me five minutes to make it. Oh, suck enough. <clears throat> Is that ever tight? Holy. That's what he said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some tight, eh? Oh. Well, we'll try it the other way. Help me hold this bar up while I fish it through. I don't think we're going to save it. That's a shame. That was a good car. Yeah, I did have a bad cam, so. Oh, I put the tool on backwards again. this again. Stick it there. Okay. There we go. Whoa. She's still just as tight. Whoa. I never thought that something like that would do that. Like spin well, on season yeah, like that. The crank bearings are gone over it didn't loosen up anymore by turning the other way. No. All right. Someone have a good 305 or 350 we can fix this car with because I'm all plumb out. <laughs>